Good day grade 7 learners and welcome back to the new episode of Learning where learning becomes easy once we explore. So hang on tight as we discover the world of Science 7. Today we will talk about color and intensity of light in terms of its wave characteristic. A world is full of colors. Look at the things around you. What makes you see these things aside from your eyes? Do you have any idea? Correct! This is because the presence of visible light. Visible light makes us see the things around us. But how does the light respond so that we can see the different beautiful creation? Light or visible light is an electromagnetic wave. Light can be perceived by the human eye. It means that it does not need a medium in order for it to propagate. Light travels in a straight path. It is made up of wavelengths of light. The main source of energy in Earth is the sun. A sun is considered as a natural source of light. It takes 499 seconds or approximately 8 minutes for the sun to travel to the Earth. Other sources such as lamps, candle, and bulb are examples of artificial sources of light. Different scientists spend their time in understanding light behavior. These include Isaac Newton, who believed that light behaves like a particles. Christian Huygens believed that light behaves like a wave. Louis de Broglie believed that light can be particles and a wave. James Clerk Maxwell, who proposed the electromagnetic theory of light. Light is considered to have particles like photons and wave nature. Light is also a vibration of electric and magnetic field. The electromagnetic spectrum is where the light lies between infrared region and ultraviolet region. When the light strikes into a prism, it forms different colors such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Is that color combination sounds familiar to you? Hmm. Yes. Look at this example. Can you see a rainbow? Exactly. A rainbow is caused by reflection, refraction, and dispersion of light in water droplets, resulting in a spectrum of light appearing in the sky. It consists of different colors, such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These different colors have specific frequencies and wavelengths. Red light has the longest wavelength but has the lowest frequency. On the other hand, violet has the shortest wavelength but has the highest frequency. The wavelength and frequency of light are important properties of light. The wavelength and frequencies of light are important properties of light. They determine the energy of a photon of light. Their axis is direct proportional between the frequency of light and its energy. Among the color components of white light, violet has the greatest energy and red light has the least energy. And there we go. And now, let's proceed to the characteristics of light, which is intensity. Intensity is the power of light. In photometry, light is the measurement of light in terms of its perceived brightness to the human eye. Brightness of light depends on the source and the distance of it. Brightness is qualitative. The more the intense the light it reaches from us, the brighter the light appears to be. Brightness can be expressed as luminous intensity with a unit known as candela. The unit expression came from fact that one candle can approximately represent the amount of visible radiation emitted by a candle flame. However, this assumption in decades ago and therefore inaccurate. James Clark Maxwell discovered the electromagnetic theory of light. He combined the concepts of light, electricity, and magnetism to come up with his theory forming electromagnetic waves. In the previous lesson, we all know that the different forms of electromagnetic waves are arranged according to its frequency and this is known as your electromagnetic spectrum, the visible part of which is known as white light or visible light. Your performance test in this activity, you are going to make a color wheel spectrum.
And that's it. I hope you have interesting and have productive day in watching this video. See you again for the next episode of Learning. Thank you.